Getting into the XR industry as an aspiring XR designer can be really frustrating and difficult. You don't know what tools to learn, there's no clear roadmap and the field is changing really fast. So that's why in this video I will share my three best tips that you can apply to actually get a job in the field as an XR designer and these are really the essentials and trust me if you apply what you will learn in this video your chances of getting into the field will be increased by 99%, I promise you. Without further ado, let's get started with the video. So the first thing that you really want to do is you want to expose yourself with AR and VR technology as much as possible. Play a lot of games, check out all experiences, see what maybe friends and uh, other developers are building. You want to consume everything that you can get your hands on. Why? Well, because think of it, like if you are in a company and they have a shitty feature, for example, maybe it's a menu that you have to type in or some object is really far away and um, there's no smooth way on getting that object, basically. If you would have played Half-Life Alex, for example, you could, for example, use the gravity gun feature and just like get items really quick it would be pretty amazing and this kind of helps you to expand your mind in solving problems in this field basically any author should be reading a lot of books any aspiring actor should watch a lot of movies to get inspiration to see how they will be acting in this field similar for every XR creator you should consume XR content so play a lot of games, also like the games of course in the Oculus Store. These ones are really like the perfect um, games that you will see. So you also want to see something that is like more unofficial, maybe the um, App Lab for example, beta games, beta experiences. But a special tip that is really helpful that you can do is go to conferences and meetups and see what is being developed in real time actually. Like these apps are not in stores, these are built right away. So you will get a real feeling of what it is to testing out something unfinished basically. And that is where you see where most of the people struggle. Like my favorite example, if I go to any fair or conference, always most of these apps if you have to type something in and maybe you know this already and you have like this um, keyboard that is super far away and you have like this uh, jittery laser pointer you have to type in an email address and it takes like half an hour just to put in your freaking email address that is a really shitty UX for example that you could have solved with um, maybe like a magnetic kind of um, laser pointer or like actually typing it or any other solution you can connect it with your phone or something like this again there are like one million ways on how you can do it better and and you will see the exact problems that these companies face and how to solve them by testing out a lot. Some good examples would be of course Half-Life Alex. always just play this game. Beat Saber is really amazing for its kind of simplicity, it's also really cool but again just see what you can find in the store, check out your favorite games. For the HoloLens I really love, what is it called again, Fragments, it's an amazing game, it really showcases how to use spatial understanding for example, really cool so if you are working with um, HoloLens for example then this is a must play as well. Next, what tools should you learn? And here I have three tools that I would recommend you to check out. First of all, check out a game engine. Most of the XR industry is based on game engines. Game engines are the backbone of this whole industry. Probably 90% of apps that you see are either built in Unity or Unreal. So check out one of these two. It doesn't matter exactly which one you choose because both are really amazing. Both get the job done. Unity has the slight advantage that a lot of studios are using Unity. So you have more opportunity over there. Unreal has, yeah, Unreal graphics, so that is pretty cool as well. Again, I have a complete non-developer focus, so it's for people who don't know code. Complete Unity course on my platform, Immersive Insiders, you can check it out here for free, don't worry. And that teaches you all the basics you need to know. It's just a couple of hours, like two hours or something like this. And you kind of know to navigate through the um, game engine, and that is all you need. You don't need to know any fancy details. Next, you should familiarize yourself with 3D modeling. So you should understand kind of the concept of what is 3D modeling. I mean, if you are working in XR, then you are working with 3D all the time. This is a completely 3D based industry. So it makes sense to know a little bit about the concept of it. Understand what are vertices, poly counts, how to reduce them, a little bit about performance could be interesting as well. Just like really the basics. And here I would highly recommend just check out Blender. Blender is freaking amazing. It is free, it is open source. It is pretty much the gold standard almost already. And again, there is nothing to lose. Try out the famous 
donut challenge yeah that is pretty cool and after that you know pretty much everything you need to know the cool thing is the game engine knowledge helps you to communicate with the developers and the technical artists and the 3d modeling knowledge helps you to communicate with the 3d artist and your job as ux designer is exactly that communication between different departments and uh, how to bring these ideas together now your main tool that is most likely or at least my recommendation that would be shape 6r shape 6R is pretty amazing. My favorite example how to describe it is it's pretty much like Figma for XR. So you can mock up, you can prototype, complete VR and AR experiences within your VR headset. So you can put on the headset, you can kind of like play around in 3D and build up your mock-up, your feature, your demo, whatever you want to build without any line of code, which is pretty amazing if you are not a developer. Then you can also do it with multiple people you can have like meetings together and check out the application you can build like a storyboard you can present it you can present it to people who don't have a headset it's kind of like an all-in-one ux tool for xr designers so how do you get it it's for free on the oculus store and i also made a video already that you can check out here that covers really the basics and the fundamental things that you need to know about shape 6r and yeah i think that is something that is really helpful to you that you should really check out and um, get familiar with it is super simple to learn i have taught lots of students already how to use it and they were able to build really cool prototypes within one week and yeah one week of learning and one week of building so within like one to two weeks they were already able to build really cool demos and if you have more time you can build even more cool stuff the next and this is seriously this is the most important thing that you have to do there's no other way you must do it and that is build a portfolio why well nowadays if you don't have a portfolio trust me i talk to a lot of founders and people in hiring positions especially in xr especially especially as an xr designer if you don't have a portfolio chances are pretty high that your cv will just be ignored and just like we'll see the trash can very fast if I'm honest with you. I mean, there is not even a degree for XR design. So what is kind of the basis for it? And if there is a degree for XR design that does not build a portfolio, then it's pretty much worthless anyway. And just to kind of even hammer it down a bit more, I'm also hiring a XR designer sometime in the future. So if you're interested, let me know. But um, yeah, if you don't have a portfolio and hopefully someone is here listening to me and actually building that stuff, if you don't have it, then chances are pretty high that the person who sends a portfolio who listens to my advice also will be yeah having much higher chances of doing it how do you build it i would recommend check out an app that you really like maybe beat server again or something else whatever you like and think of some concept that you could improve that would be the best thing if you have a cool app that everybody knows and you know a way of improving it you can build a prototype of this feature inside of shape 6r of course that is something that you can then host online on some web server on your own personal page and if you don't know any of these kind of things stay tuned because we are working on a solution that helps non-coders again to showcase their work as well so that is something that will come in the future but somehow you will be able to showcase it maybe you have a blog or something like this write a small article like about the feature that you have built and the challenges you have solved do this like a couple of times and you have a perfect portfolio trust me so if you are still a bit overwhelmed which i can understand because it's a complete new field and there's still like um, some gaps in there how to exactly build the portfolio how to do it in shape 6r what you should actually know to make the app even better all of these uh, fundamental xr ux concepts for example first of all i will make a couple of videos on that in the future as well and even more important i am actually working on an xr course that will be coming out very soon in the next couple of weeks and months so this is amazingly in collaboration with shape 6r itself so we will build the curriculum together to get the best 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 level of education for you that you know everything that you need to know to get into the xr industry so if you are dedicated and if you are serious about learning that stuff i would highly uh, recommend you in your own interest check out the link in the description i have a um, little register page where we can register and then you will stay updated we will have um, some internal meetings that you can participate in you can actually shape the course you will get a huge discount when it comes out 
So there's only win-win for you really. So if you're interested, again, check it out. And that is something that I'm really excited about to launch in the next couple of months. And a little nice bonus tip for anybody who is really dedicated and who is not shy on social media, for example, because probably like 99% are mostly consumers and 1% are creators. If you want to belong to this 1% who actually creates stuff, you will stand out so much more. So try to build a personal brand online. What does it mean? Let me give you some clear steps that you can take. But first of all, why would you want to do it? Think of it this way. This is the difference between you applying to jobs or jobs applying to you. So these companies, they will be begging you to work for them maybe not begging you but they will be asking you to work for them seriously like i can speak from experience i before i had my own company when i was working as a developer i got asked by many companies regularly if i want to work for them just because i have built my personal brand what did i do and what should you do share your learnings document the process whatever you do if you just download shape 6 r share it online it's fine if you build something if you have a challenge if you're struggling whatever is your kind of like journey really the steps that you do the learnings you have this is like this channel is exactly the way it started i started learning xr ar vr development i shared it online i shared my learnings and now that has grown to almost twenty thousand subscribers same on linkedin so if you don't want to do youtube videos which i can understand because it's quite a bit of work trust me go to linkedin create an account if you don't have it already feel free to connect with me you can i can push your learnings a little bit if it's actually good and then you will it will be seen by thousands of thousands of people and this is again something that if you think of it long term can really make your career explode so that is kind of like the bonus tip that i would recommend build a personal brand so let's have a quick summary first of all you want to expose yourself a lot with ar and vr content just because that is kind of your main food for thought for becoming an xr designer then you want to of course learn the tools that i believe are essential and it's just not only my own personal uh, recommendation i talked to a lot of people in the industry who are actually hiring XR designers and most of them are kind of in this range that it's really good to know uh, Unity, a little bit of Blender, Shapes XR is amazing and uh, of course having some other 2D skills can be helpful as well. And then I would highly highly recommend build these things that I just talked about and showcase them online, build a portfolio and if you want to be on the really high level then share your learnings online in any form blog, YouTube, TikTok, whatever, LinkedIn preferably would be amazing, then this can be something that is um, really enhancing your career. So this is it already. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, really, that helps me to kind of find the direction that is most helpful to you. If there's any concept that you want me to teach or any other kind of video in this field that you want to know, then uh, write it down. If the video was helpful to you, it would be nice if you leave a like. That helps a lot already. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I will see you in the next one.